It goes without saying that when Stephen Hawking passed away in 2018, the world lost one of the brightest brains to ever devote themselves to tackling some of science's most challenging issues. And Stephen Hawking had many messages for humanity before he passed away. He offered some ominous predictions regarding not only how the planet would die, but also what would happen to the universe. What are these grave predictions? Is there any chance that we can avoid them? Let's find out. Anyone who has watched any of the Terminator movies is aware of how this whole artificial intelligence issue is likely to end, and Stephen Hawking concurred. According to Stephen Hawking, artificial intelligence will either be a boon or a bane for humanity, depending on how it develops. It might very well be the final thing if we are not careful. Artificial intelligence encompasses everything from Google's algorithms to self-driving cars to facial recognition software, and it holds immense promise for humanity. Although it might seem like science fiction, Hawking claims that doing so would be a mistake and potentially our worst mistake ever. We humans are pretty clumsy compared to robots. It takes us generations to iterate because evolution moves slowly. On the other hand, robots can enhance their own designs far more quickly and, in the near future, they will most likely be able to do it without our assistance. According to Hawking, this will lead to an intelligence explosion where machines may outsmart us by more than ours exceeds that of snails. Many people believe that the main danger of AI is that it could turn malicious rather than helpful. This worry is allayed by Hawking, who claims that the true risk with AI isn't malice, but competence. The bottom line is that AI would be excellent at achieving its objectives, and if humans get in the way, we could be in trouble. A hydroelectric green energy project's project manager may not be an ant-hating villain who deliberately steps on ants. But in the event that the project's project manager is in charge of flooding an ant hill, then the poor ants will have to deal with the consequences. Let's not place humanity in the position of those ants, argues Hawking in his book. He said in 2017 that the genie is out of the bottle. I fear that AI may replace humans altogether. If people design computer viruses, someone will design AI that replicates itself. This will be a new form of life that will outperform humans. Then it's okay, we'll be protected for a very long time, right? Not really, it's already happening. The first ever self-replicating living robots were developed through a partnership between WIS, Tufts and the University of Vermont, according to a November 2021 announcement from the WIS Institute at Harvard. These tiny handmade organisms or robots known as xenobots can focus on living cells before congregating to collect stem cells to create new, smaller robots inside these cells. They eerily resemble Pac-Man. According to Joshua Bongard of the University of Vermont, with the appropriate design, they will spontaneously self-replicate. They started out with the greatest of intentions, but we've all heard the expression, the path to hell is paved with good intentions. Will it apply? Who knows? According to Bongard, the Xenobots have the potential to be used to combat cancer cells and remove microplastics from the environment, both of which are absolutely excellent uses for this revolutionary new technology. But will it spiral out of control? Well, according to Stephen Hawking, it's possible. If it's not the robots, Stephen Hawking claims that it is almost inevitable that the Earth will experience an environmental disaster or a nuclear conflict during the next 1,000 years. His warning followed a dire assessment from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, which stated that we have only 12 years to implement reforms that are significant enough to prevent global warming at manageable levels. Extended droughts, more tropical storms and rising sea levels will only be the beginning without such improvements. According to him, reckless indifference to our future on planet Earth is the greatest threat to our world. Also according to him, we might not have a future at all if we put all of our eggs in one basket. And yes, that basket is planet Earth. 
He says that even if humans figure out a way to escape, the millions of species that inhabit the Earth will be doomed and that will be on our conscience as a race. Unsurprisingly, things haven't been going so well. The Wiseman Institute conducted a study in 2021 that yielded almost unfathomable findings, including the fact that each person produces more human-made mass waste on average each week than their own body weight. More depressingly, the weight of man-made materials on the globe has overtaken that of naturally occurring materials. Moving on, there's nothing like a pandemic to bring home to everyone exactly how many people there are on this earth, but it was years before anyone heard of COVID that Stephen Hawking warned that there were just too many people. According to what he said in 2017, our Earth is becoming too small for us, the global population is increasing at an alarming rate, and we are in danger of self-destructing. We need to actively pursue an alternative way of living if the human race is to survive. The year 2021 had scientists wondering how things would be that particular year. While UN researchers predict there will be an astounding 11 billion people in the world by the end of this century, compared to the roughly 8 billion there are in 2022, other predictions place the number at a maximum of 9 billion. According to the Pew Research Center, declining fertility rates indicate that the population will effectively come to a standstill. Another warning is no less threatening. Self-designed evolution has entered a new phase. In the near future, we'll be able to break free from the constraints of traditional evolution and begin tinkering with our own DNA immediately, rather than waiting for a few thousand years. Even the notion of creating superhumans through genetic engineering seems a little far-fetched, but Stephen Hawking disagreed. Even in his posthumously released book, Brief Answers to the Big Questions, which was released in 2018, he issued a warning about it. He wrote, I am sure that during this century, people will discover how to modify both intelligence and instincts such as aggression. While he was equally certain that there would be legislation put in place to restrict what could be done, he continued that some people won't be able to resist the temptation to improve human characteristics such as memory, resistance to disease and length of life. Similar to AI, the power to alter our own DNA has the potential to address the most pressing issues facing humanity. First, and probably not too far off, we'll be able to correct genetic flaws by editing out genes for conditions like muscular dystrophy and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or ALS, the condition he was diagnosed with in 1963. According to Hawking, we will be able to edit intelligence, memory and lifespan within this century. And at that point, things could become really challenging. These superhumans, as Hawking refers to them, are likely to be the world's wealthiest elites. The average person will likely die out or become inconsequential since they will be unable to compete. Superhumans will probably colonize other planets and stars at the same time. Hawking believed that such genetic tinkering would lead to a significant risky separation between genetically modified individuals and ordinary non-engineered individuals. He said it would happen before this century was through, yet it has already occurred. The CRISPR baby scandal was the subject of a 2019 Nature article, which is exactly what Hawking foresaw. He, Zhuang Kui, a Chinese biophysicist, revealed that he had created twin daughters through genetic engineering who would be born HIV immune. He was sentenced to three years in prison and his closest associates received prison terms as well. The news predictably sent the scientific community into a tizzy. But has the figurative cat already been let out? While it would be wonderful to believe that the inhabitants of Earth glanced about and realized some fairly dreadful things were occurring in the world around them and decided to get their act together, Stephen Hawking did not precisely see such things. In actuality, his prophecies about the end of the world got worse. He was rather open about his beliefs when he delivered a speech at Cambridge University in 2016 and said, I don't think we will survive another 1,000 years without escaping beyond our fragile planet. The year after that, 
Hawking cut that time in half and changed his doomsday prediction to the year 2600. According to what he said at the 10 cents WE summit, by the year 2600, the world's population would be standing shoulder to shoulder and the electricity consumption would make the Earth glow red hot. And then? That dropped to just 100 years. As a result of the United States' withdrawal from the Paris Climate Agreement, which he considered a terrible decision, he updated his timeline. He advised humanity to find a new planet to inhabit as soon as possible, because this one had pretty much run out of life. It's understandable if you find all of this depressing. Even though Hawking offers a doomsday prediction for the world and everyone in it, his characteristic optimism shines through. He believes our clever race will have found a method to slip the surly confines of Earth and will therefore survive the tragedy. He even thinks that these possibilities are exciting rather than worrisome and that they greatly increase the chances of inspiring the new Einstein, wherever that person might be. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.